inside the MVP arena. It is Oregon State and Notre Dame. Oregon State back in the tournament after having a losing record last year. Notre Dame, the ACC champions. And on the other side of the bracket tonight, Texas and Gonzaga will play in Stanford at NC State as all of the seeds on this side in this Albany Regional have they played each other five times historically. Notre Dame has won all five games, and we are underway. Hidalgo, who could be a matchup nightmare for Oregon State, gets her first basket. And O'Hawton. Able to get around Beers, running the pick and roll, gets it up and in and drew the foul. Bam, she's got such good hands. Van Olhoffen does a great job of putting it on the money, but having to gather that, stay on balance, finish through contact. I mean, excellent execution. And often, that was a picture-perfect defensive possession. Notre Dame feasting on getting out in transition all season long. Gardner, sweet. Guarded out there by Gardner. Now, we have two freshman point guards in Hunter and Hidalgo. Boy, Hannah, right to the bucket. And Pam, that's her growth right there. Now, Ransford bottled up in the lane. Westbell left it into the bottom of the net. Beers leads the nation in field goal percentage. And she's showing you that she just doesn't miss. And for her ACL in the ACC tournament, so it's Nat Marshall all day, all the time, and Beers hits again. I mean, this is just too easy. The ball gets inside. She's got a foot in the paint. You're not going to stop that. She leads the nation. Oregon State is always a team that has had nearly perfect spacing. And when you're in scramble mode, they make the right play. Westbell got a friendly bounce or two, and that breaks a 9 nothing in quarter of play. And Oregon State shooting 50% from the floor. And Ann Marquez is the veteran trainer. We've seen a lot already in this game, Steph. <laughs> We've had a shot clock issue, and now Hannah Hidalgo's nose ring is being taken out before they are gonna let her back on the court, Holly. So, you know, there is a no jewelry rule. She had just a little tiny diamond stud in her nose, but she's been informed that she has to take it out. So they're working to get that out right now. All right, thank you, Holly. They were gonna get her back onto the floor as soon as possible. Hidalgo committing that foul in literally the last second. The two things I think about when I think about Scott Ruick's teams, obviously the defense and the spacing. His teams have nearly perfect spacing all the time on offense. And Maddie Westbelt, just a great job of recognizing the mismatch, attacking Reagan Beers off the bounce, the splitting defenders, and that's a tough finish. Hunter just picked up her first foul for the Beavers. There's a almost giveaway. DeWolf able to recover, but then Parova blocked it. Again, she said, I've just started to feel comfortable over the last couple of weeks, and you can tell it. Here she comes, Citron, scoring the last five points for the Irish. I, it took a while, good. guys, yeah. a long walk. <laughs> Citron, she's so crafty. Yeah. Irish to do what they do best, right? Here's Sonia Citron. That's a crowded area. Another three, good box out by Bransford. Here's Hidalgo, one of the few times they've had the ball in the open court. The Wolf for three, hit it! It's a toughie. <laughs> Two and a half minutes left to go. TVO's been rather quiet, but that's a good decision always. Being all in their face. Hidalgo comes over to help. The Wolf. Citron beautifully executed. One minute to go in the half. Hunter to Gardner, hit it from three. Oregon State going to continue to give her that mid-range pull-up. She's got to knock a couple of those down. And she's not been able to get any of those steals that we're used to seeing and then going the other way. There's a 
Marshall left open. She won't shoot from there. Citron will. You know, the other thing that you can do if you're Neil Ivy with, with Matt Marshall not being guarded at all, but Notre Dame's going to have a lot of space to be able to get a shot off. When Tamia was a, a seventh or eighth grader, Natalie Williams calling me and saying, hey, I've got this player that's got a chance to be really, really special. And yeah, Natalie Williams is one of the all-time yes. greats in, in basketball. Also was a tremendous volleyball player. Citron got it stopped a couple of times, but the ball stays with the Irish. Well, this is a great job. Again, this team defense collapsing. Looks like a couple of different players got a hand on that ball. Irish are fortunate to be able to retain possession. Beers couldn't hit. And here's Hidalgo in the open floor. DeWolf nails the three. With multiple season-ending injuries, and they've got that fight and dog mentality. And a defensive foul right there on Nat Marshall. Westbelt has to be careful. The ball got away from Gardner. Hidalgo catches, challenges Beard, and got blocked. The other side, Reagan Beers is like, don't bring that in here. What a play by Reagan Beers. Point guard for Oregon State now has three fouls. 16 turnovers for the Beavers. Citron. She, she understands right now. She needs to continue to, to pour into Hannah Hidalgo. They're going to need her down the stretch of this ball game. She's got to be able to recover, flush it, but that's another great look on the interior for Reagan Beers. From Beers. Westbell playing with three fouls. Puts it in. Maddie Westbell coming through. TVO guarded by Citron. Beers with the screen, and it worked perfectly for Gardner, who has turned herself into an elite three-point shooter. Getting another opportunity. It's a possession ball game. 18 turnover for the Beavers. Let's see how Hidalgo responds here in the third quarter. Westbell to Citron, poetry in motion. It Continue to find ways to create some movement, create some off-ball screening action, great little split in the corner. Sonia Citron reads the curl. In the second quarter for the Irish. Nice look, and Barry did not make the tournament last year, won just four Pac-12 games. Citron, so crafty, uses both hands and then finishes. Five turnovers in the last three and a half minutes for Oregon State. Notre Dame trying to build on the points off turnovers, and they do! Anna DeWolf! Just two points herself today. Has missed five out of six shots. Hunter, huge three for the freshman! Certainly has inside the beers. Marshall with the defense. It goes right out to Hansford, and sure, her turn now. The Hansford shoots at 45% from the three-point line, and that is a big three. And Olhoffen, another stellar defensive play this time by Citron, but then Hunter. One minute left. Hidalgo forces the contact, and finally, Hannah Hidalgo gets her first field goal. Gardner. In the beers, perfectly executed. Clock, work the clock, right? And then you find that small window of opportunity and you deliver. Earlier this season. And the Oregon State Beavers, one year removed from 13 wins total, not only back in the dance, but they're dancing all the way to the Elite Eight. They sure are. I mean, what an outstanding effort by the Oregon State Beavers. They do what they do best on the defensive end of the floor, play team basketball, share the basketball on the offensive end. And Scott Ruick told us, this team learned it's not about talent, it's about mentality. And they have come in with a mentality that they refuse to lose.